Um, well, to Teresa Spence specifically, it, I, I did a 24-hour fast. I'm going to do another one in February, and I couldn't imagine entering week three like she's entering. I could not imagine. Um, and, you know, it's a very small part uh, that I, you know, 24 hours. I mean, Gail did three days. I, I couldn't imagine that. Um, but, you know, we can all do something. You know, we can all discuss this. We can all, um, you know, she's doing something incredible. Uh, and we can all be inspired by that in some way, shape, or form and do something, whatever it is. And to also remember to, to stay unified. A lot of times um, we can kind of get, how do I put this, I, I, from years of organizing, people can kind of get into their heads that there's only one way. And I think there's lots of different ways, and I think supporting lots of different grassroots movements um, that are connected and in solidarity uh, is actually a very good way to go because it's it's about like I, I don't I, I think it's wonderful when other people are doing fasts that aren't connected to fast for change. I think it's wonderful that other people are, are doing things other than the fasts. Um, that's there's so many different ways. There's an old Rudyard Kipling line that there are, are I think it's there are 50 and seven ways to to make a lay uh, a tropical lay, and every single one of them is right. I think there's so many different ways to organize that we don't. You know, we we don't need to to start criticizing what other people are doing. We need to start um, listening to what other people are doing, why they're doing it, and act in solidarity. All right. Uh, are there any more questions? I don't. I don't. I don't have any answers. So that's great. That's <laughs> okay. awesome. All right. Thank you. Yeah. No. Thank you.